Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be reviewing Beth Blender Beauty. So I have three highlighters here for you. They're Sweet Cheeks Highlighter Collection. I have three colors. I'm super excited. I'm going to swatch them, test them out for you. And we're going to see if these highlighters are really worth it. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. Okay guys, so I have a little bit of highlighter on. I'm just going to dull down my beauty blender and we're going to swatch these. So I haven't watched any reviews on these before just because I want a real honest opinion. And let's go ahead and open up this, the first thing. So the box is really cute. It's like a little clear box with some paper in it, which does become kind of a mess for me. But you know, the product's good. I don't care if it's a little messy. Um, the logo for this is everything. Like, look at this logo. That is amazing. Not sure it matches the little rainbow aesthetic around it, but this logo, I love this logo. It's so pretty and dark. So, um, I'm going to open this up. We're going to see what shades we have here. I'm really, yeah, okay. Oh, oh my god. So I opened it up and then like I didn't realize it was right there. So, oh my god, it's so pretty. Look. The red paper away, and then you have like the gorgeous red and black highlighter in there. That is so pretty because there's a label on the back side too, so I didn't know where exactly it was in here. But that is so pretty, and it didn't even make any mess. So it says Beth Thunder Beauty all around it, and the logo's there. I just told you I love that logo, it's so pretty. It has like an actual gem on top. So the bottom of it says House of Violet with a little rainbow sticker. I guess that's um. This whole collection has this rainbow aesthetic to it. Let's open her up. I just got stuff all over my dress. This is what the highlighter looks like. If mine's broken, I don't... I'm thinking maybe I had a rough ride with the post office. But uh, there's the powder. If there was something imprinted in the powder, I don't know. But it's it's broken but it's a really white shimmery color we're gonna move on with those of you even if it's broken but i do have a bunch of highlighter everywhere now there was like this little plastic sleeve over the thing too put that away i'm going to be swatching it on my cheek today never mind this little flap of my wig it's just annoying but i'm gonna take the new color pop brush and gently type it in so I do not want to break it again. Or maybe I'll pack it back into the spot. I don't know. But uh, let's give it a cheek swatch and see what I think. I don't see any shimmers or glitters in here. Just in the pan. Oh my god, y'all. Now, I know it's called House of Violet. I don't... I get it. I didn't put two and two together. It is white in the pan, but it is so pinky purple on my skin. It's so pink, really. Y'all, it's so pink! I, don't, I just want to build this up because you can see it. I know I've removed it, but... It's so pink! It's crazy! It's like color-changing highlighter. Look at it! It's so pink! Can you see how pink it is? Because, realistically, this is pinker than some other pink highlighters I've tried. Can you see how pink it is? It's, it's like... It's literally this color on my face, but it's so metallic shimmery that like it's only pink when you turn and you like see your highlights. It's I don't feel like the camera is representing how pink this is. And it's so cute. Oh my god, I feel like a pastel princess. I, I bronzed my skin a lot today because I knew I was wearing a black wig today. But if I wasn't bronzed up, this would look so cute against my pale skin. Oh my god, I'm super excited. I was like really scared that this is an issue because it's broken but the packaging so cute so tiny and compact I feel like I can just throw this in my bag if it wasn't broken I can repair it though if I need to it's so cute oh my god all right so it's not a glittery highlighter thank god I don't really like glittery highlights so I feel like some people put pressed glitter and shimmer into a pan and I call it a highlighter but to me I need some shimmer metallic not some glittery mess this is so pretty Oh my god, I'm gonna be doing this all day. Alright. Moving to the next one. I'm gonna remove this one and I will be right back. 
Okay, highlighter is removed. Let's move on to the next one. Hope this one's not broken. This one is called Sailor Scout. Really cute name. Oh, the packaging though. I love the dark aesthetic of this packaging. Um, I'm scared to open this one up, but we'll see. This one's not broken! Yay! This one's fine. Look at that one. So you get this cute little mirror, mirror up top, which I guess you could use, but like, who use the tiniest mirror? There you go! It's like a- this one's more silver. This is like a light silver eyeshadow color. And we're gonna be using our Morphe fan brush today for this one. Let's see what happens when I do this one, because I don't even know what color this is gonna be. There's a lot of fallout with this one, a lot of um, powder up top once you go into it, but you know, I don't care as long as it's good. This one looks pink too. Is it pink? I think this one's pink too. Oh. Wait, I can't really tell what color this is, y'all. There could be a little bit of residue from the last one. I think this one's more of a silver. Okay, this one's more of a silver. I feel like maybe I'm seeing a little bit of pink from the last one. Mmm, but it's so metallic. Look how- Oh my god. Look. Look. You, you see it, obviously. It's really pretty. It's blinding. And it's silver, but it's not like silver. Like, you have to really look and like examine someone's highlight without being blinded to see that it's silver. But oh my gosh, it's so metallic and it doesn't look powdery on my face, like at all. It just settled into my skin, it looks like. It doesn't look like it's on top of my foundation. It just moosed itself in there all snugly. And it's so pretty. Like, I had. I go into every review kind of blind, or like I know the brand. So I'm like, oh, they usually have good products. But this time, I didn't know the brand. And I'm super excited about it now. Ah! Alright. Let's move on to the last highlighter. Okay, so the last one is called Picnic. You see that? And let's open this one up. Please don't be- this one's not broken either. Okay, the first one must have had some issues, like, getting here. This one's pink and dark. I hope this is light enough for my skin tone. So this is like- it looks like a baked blush coral color. But you can definitely tell it's shimmery and metallic-y. So let's put this on my face. We use a Morphe 501 brush. This one didn't fall apart on me. And this one doesn't have as much kickback or fallout. So, there's a, look how much pigment is on this brush. I'm going to tap some of this excess off because I'm not trying to go crazy. Um, let's just swatch. Ooh. This one's giving me some peachy vibe. This is like a... Wow, this is going to sound really crazy. This is like a more intense version of Jeffree Star's Peach Goddess. But like more on the peachy side instead of the pinky side. And it's so pretty. This is just so pretty. I feel like I could wear this. And it wouldn't be too distracting or too dark on my skin. Because sometimes when people look at me and I have a dark highlighter on, you can see it on the edge of my face. Looking a little dark. But this actually works. Now maybe it's a tad bit dark, I feel like if I put the light pink one over it first and then like built this one up with it, it'd be so pretty. On its own though, super gorgeous. If you are bronzed or even medium to dark skin, this is going to look amazing on you. It's just, it glows so well and you that hype on your cheek, it just catches it and it doesn't sit on top of your foundation. Usually if I find a really good... Usually I find a really good, not known as much about products, not in like Sephora. They're usually more powdery, but this one is not. I'm like really happy with it. I really wish that first one wasn't broken because I think, so we have Picnic, Sailor Scout, and House of Violet. House of Violet, the broken one, is my favorite. I like the pretty pinkness to it, but Sailor Scout Silver, very wearable for me. This one is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna have to like mix them together to really get my full use out of Picnic. But so pretty. I feel like this one's probably gonna sell more than anything else for them. 
because Picnic is such a... It's a blinding highlight, but it can just be a subtle, warm, pretty tone over your cheeks if you wanted it to be. I feel like all of these will make really great eyeshadows as well. Um, I am definitely use these a lot. A lot. Thank you so much for being a good surprise. Yay! I can't... I know people are going to be really annoyed with me in this video for like, staring at my highlight too much, but I like, kind of in love. Anyways, I'm going to do another video on their products, which is the Eye Candy Gentle Adhesive Eyeliner Stencils. It says there's 30 sheets and 60 stencils in here. This is a whole nother video, baby. I am super excited. I, now I have my, ho my hopes up kind of high. So we'll see this in a future video. I'll leave it linked down below once it's up. But uh, for now, these highlighters are everything. I'm super excited. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave everything linked down below for these. And oh, also. Also, the reason I really wanted to try these, these are vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, so any real issues you have with cosmetic companies, these don't have it, so that's awesome. I'm really trying to use a lot more vegan products, and I'm really happy that this is a good choice. So, uh, bye guys, I will see you in my next video for about five weeks, and please hit subscribe before you go. Bye! Taking up my energy, yeah. How could I not notice that you became an enemy? Up so high, coming down with the gravity. You're pulling me down, down, down. I just wanna keep.